Murray, you've gotten to see a lot of movies while you've been down here in Lauderdale by the Sea. Uh, first of all, just tell me the three that you've seen so far, and then we'll go into one of them. Well, actually, it's, it's really nice to be with you, and it's very nice to be doing it here in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. As some folks who maybe listen to my show, Murray Go Around, might know, I'm usually talking about either politics, literature, movies, or current events, whatever fits your fancy. But today, I think your idea is a good one. Let's talk about some of the good movies. And I think, actually, there are four that are out right now that would be worth seeing. Well, Murray, keep in mind, yeah. we do each one as a different segment, so let's... All keep right. those well, spaces there. I want to talk about Bridge of Spies, I want to talk about Brooklyn, I want to talk about Spotlight, and I want to talk about Trumbo. And I think any one of them would be Start worth your Brooklyn. while. Start with Brooklyn. Well, Brooklyn is for lovers, I would say. I highly recommend it for those who are in the mood for a sweet romantic movie featuring a really special, uh, I think, Academy Award nominee portrayal by the female lead. and maybe even by the male lead. And you follow a lovely young uh, Irish woman who comes to Brooklyn and uh, is swept off her feet slowly, but then increasingly by an unlikely fellow of Italian background. And, uh, there was a time when Irish-Italian wasn't such a common, com common combination. I saw it so many times. Well, that's right. It's, it's a little bit odd to begin with, and there's some fun scenes where the two cultures are mixing, including uh, watching the heroine learning how to eat spaghetti and trying to do so with the Italian family. When does it take place? Uh, I think it's taking place, I would, I, we should know, and I'm going to say in the 40s would be my guess. At any rate, there's a funny scene where the mother says, boy, you eat spaghetti so lovely. How did that happen? She said, oh, well, I've been taking lessons. So that was one <laughs> cute little memo. But in the end, she has to go back to uh, the home country because of problems at home, and she's possibly being drawn into another romance. And so there's a little bit of tension as to will she stay in Ireland or will she go back to Brooklyn. It's a beautiful, it's a small movie. It tugs at your heart, and I really highly recommend it. Uh, any particular highlights, anything wrong with it? I mean, people may only <coughs> see one or two movies. They want to know if this is the one to see. This is the one to see if you're not in the mood for James Bond, for Spectre, if you're not in the mood for High Adventure or maybe Bridge of Spies. It's a small, sweet, romantic movie. It's a great date movie. Well, guys it's, earn points with the potential, you know, uh, if they bring her to this, can they earn points this way? Uh, I wouldn't call it a chick lit, but it's above that. So, yes, I think uh, it's good for men and women of every generation. I know the young folks like it, our kids liked it, and uh, we're maybe a little older generation, we liked it a lot too. But did Birch and uh, Josh like it too? Even though they're happily married, oh, you have seven uh, grandchildren, so no, I, it's not I, a critical time for them. this is a clear winner. Uh, okay. This will be a, a 90 plus Rotten Tomatoes type movie. And who are the actors everyone. in it? I can't say the names of any of them. I don't know okay, their then names, they're probably honestly. not too important. Well, the, the <laughs> woman the is, is, is kind of bursting onto the scene. I can't even say, pronounce her name, something like Cerise. Um, maybe your dad knows. Not important. <laughs> Unless it's All a big right. name actor. Okay, you can hit stop now.